Oh, what a fucking flight. Oh, what a place! Fancy miss out on this! Holy fuck! <laughs> best you can in everything you sink your teeth into, every activity you undertake, every job site you work at, every blog you write, you do the best you can. I think that's going to impact yourself and everyone around you in the most positive way possible. I feel like that is something that you have always been, uh, at least to me, you've kind of presented yourself as a positive example. Although you weren't classically just a, an employee kind of mindset, you were never someone who just followed the rules just cause you but for whatever reason the idea of, of work ethic and working hard that was in you Fuck very early you were a little bit more daring i think a little bit more ballsy i had to try to try to find a way to fit in and that kind of manifested itself in me having to be the guy that kind of pushed the limits Big move it. Yeah. Or what? Ooh, here, cool. Don't waste bluff. Fine bluff. Uh, fine bluff. How good does it feel? Gives me a stiffy. Woo! <laughs> Fucking hillbilly. <laughs> Anyone, no matter who the fuck they are, they're gonna look at this. I think it's fucking incredible. Oh, what a fucking place. Oh, what a place. Phone block is number four. Number four, the highest in Tasmania. Yeah. Really? Also, We're actually going up Phone Bluff today. Yeah, Loose. Do you know how many kilometers? Uh, 27. And some of that is just literally crawling up fucking rock. Three slopes. Boulder, bouldering. Cool. It's hard. It's hard on your joints. It's hard on your fucking everything. What do you call the, um, the, the emergency. E-perb. Uh, yeah, I had a different name for it, but the E-perb, yeah, I think those things are expensive. Yeah, they're about 380 or something. Is that all? Okay, I thought like 10 grand. Fuck no, no worries, it might roll my ankle then. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Oh, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Beautiful, man. That'd be fresh as well, right? <laughs> Mount Franklin suck a dick. <laughs> literally cannot get that. There's no wind. It's not fucking cold. Boy, it stinks with coal and you're telling me you've got to get out the fucking net this time though. It's really good. Alright. So that's kitchen hut we're about to hit. And that's where we're going. So we're halfway. Fuck, that was quick. The only thing we're pretty slow going is that I just think it's going to have to get here and it's supposed to be five hour walk. This is fucking cool, man. I've never been able to stand on water before, although I'm not going to exactly go any further. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm being so careful. Carry on. <laughs> careful, just boring you. Fuck me. Jesus. Fuck, man. All well, these are hiking boots. There's friction. Hiking <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck, I've got to put my spice on. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> We hit the wall, we went for This has to be around here. If it doesn't, then we're fucking going on. Sounds like we've bit off. We're going in the wrong direction. Oh, that's a good thing. It's just going three hours a day, I reckon. It does look kind of fucked up now you mention it. Yeah, it sort of slopes in that bit of a crevice bit. Yeah, but then you have to go straight up that cliff bit. Anyway, Jesus, man. Fuck that, I'm walking around it. These cliffs better not be icy like that. Nah, I doubt it. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Do you agree? Feel pretty bad. Yeah, towards the top definitely, but in between the rocks, it's just asking for a broken ankle or like so oh. see how she's gonna be a sesh. It's alright, it'd be fucking that direction. Back on track. Oh that was my full friend. Why'd you take your shirt off? I got caught in a branch. Ah. Oh, 
your legs. He's taking it. Fucking hell, this is gonna suck coming back down. Ice on this rock. Ice on my heart. Yeah, I see. So there it goes right up to the right there. You catch yourself at something the way down there. Catch yourself at something. These bushes are pretty good to grab onto. You know, just to take a little bit of the weight. What do you want to do? You get to a point of potential safety risk. I think we're getting the point of it not being worth the risk of too much snow, too much hazard, too much potential death, but I don't want to take the risk. I think that this last little part here is the most dangerous part. This part seems sketchy because it seems like if you did fall into that plane there, it feels like maybe you would roll down and um, oh, shit, yeah. It. However, if we can get up this part, which there's some handles and they've, and they've created some steps for us. You want to go, you go. I think we can make it. I'm going out like a bitch. I don't want that risk. Like I said, you may, I can't even look at it. Stand there. Stay with me. <laughs> Fries is bowed out. But I can't get this close to the top and not keep going. So, um, just me and my hiking boots. Okay, I just got about maybe scaled. <laughs> 40, 50 meters up. Um, that was tough. That was scary. Um, stabbing my shoes into the snow just to just get a little bit of traction. But uh, um, I'm gonna keep going. So about 60 meters up the hill from uh, up the mountain from where Fry's departed. Hopefully, that is um, some of the hardest. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, my feet are fucking saturated, mate. Fuck. God damn it. All the way over there. You're missing out, fries. Almost there. And we made it. Here we are. Better add a little rock to the collection. There we go. Bum Bluff Club. What defines a good friend? Is it someone who loves you? Someone who supports you? Well, that depends. What are they supporting exactly? Your excuses? Your lies? Your bad habits? Now I'm not sure if this is just another awkward Tasmanian pastime, but some of my mates can be absolute cunts. They seem to have a thing for jamming their honest opinions right where they appear not to belong. But in doing this, they also offer the most valuable of insights and become the mouthpieces that can be trusted beyond all others. Without these cunts, there to guide us, challenge us, and to call us on our bullshit. We run the risk of leading ourselves in bad directions, and even running off avoidable cliffs. Funnily enough, these ruthlessly honest types also end up being the ones who do get behind us as we strive for mountaintops. Show me your friends, and I'll show you your future, they say. I'm not sure about all that, but this friend caught up my underprepared ass in 36 hours notice, showed me the sunrise from Marion's lookout, Snowy Cradle Mountain Reserve for the peak of Barn Bluff and the most beautiful, nature-esque day of my life. Can't complain about that. 